don't slide. Ride the mic, ride, I know. I know. Put her legs in the sky whenever I pull up. Pull up. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you saw from the title, it is another vlog. It has been months since I did a vlog. My last vlog was in March and that was my San Juan Puerto Rico vlog and I haven't really done any other vlogs. You guys know the indication of summer girl travel for me is after Memorial Day. I do not travel during Memorial Day pre-May. I don't really travel. I had a travel credit. That's why I went to Punta Cana because I had, had to use up that travel credit. But I typically start my travels, explorations, and all that fun stuff after Memorial Day. Today's exploration needs no introduction. You saw the title. You know where we're going. Canada, Toronto to be specific. I'm excited because it's my first time going up there and seeing everything that Toronto has to offer. Hair wise, this is my first time traveling without crochet. I'm traveling with an actual half wig today and I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm really, fingers crossed that everything is great, especially going to the falls, especially wanting to go up under that water. Uh, I tell you guys that crochet hair is the best option for water situations. Yes, I'm taking a taking a chance with um, a wig with, with leave out. We'll see and you'll see as we go throughout this vlog. So if you want to come on this journey to good old Toronto, views from the six and all that with me, let's go. Just a disclaimer, you will hear me say Toronto with the hard toe at the end. Understand that I know instinctively that it's Toronto. That second T is silent, but charge it to the mind, not the heart. This vlog, I just go crazy with the Toronto of it all. Yeah. From United North States. States, North Carolina, North yeah, the United States. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to. Thank you. What is atmosphere in United States uh, uh, to, toward the candidate for presidential presidential election? I think it's the same every year. It's like nervous. You never know. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's always the same <laughs> every year. Which, which candidate? Uh, made, made? Uh, it's, what is your idea about uh, Donald Trump performance? Oh, personally, I don't like <laughs> Joe Biden. Okay, uh, Donald Trump was more effective. They really prefer Donald Trump to Joe Biden. Oh, wow. I prefer. Republicans mm. to Democrats. Yeah. Uh, my baby, my yeah. Can I you my If you leave me, I could die. I swear, you are like the oxygen I need to survive. I'll be honest. Your love ain't totally me. I am so obsessed. I want to chop your body. to Toronto it is like 4 50 I got here maybe landed a little after three but through customs and getting here from the airport and all of that it has been a whirlwind of a day and I don't even know if I left the clip of my uber driver but um want to talk heavily about politics now I don't care where anybody falls on the political spectrum I don't care if we agree or disagree in politics I don't want to talk about it I don't talk about politics with friends family like, we don't talk about that is that that's normal decorum but for the last whole ride he was 
quiet. It was mum's the world, which I love. And I would have loved to have right up until the point of drop off. But for some reason, those last five minutes, he wanted to talk to me about U.S. politics, his hate for Joe Biden, um, and his love for all things Republican, and that's where he falls. So that kind of took a turn because you don't know what to even say, even if you agreed with somebody. And I'm still going to tip and do all the right things, but I just wish we could request quiet rides. I think you can nowadays, but nonetheless, it rained a bit on my way here. But I will not let that stop anything I have going on. But I will go find some food I haven't eaten since mcdonald's oatmeal and hash browns this morning eh. so i really want to get something on my stomach and then seize the day really i am staying at the delta toronto that's the name of the hotel delta toronto they have an airport location and this is right beside the cn tower which i'm clearly not facing that side i don't know if it's that side or that side or that side but I did not get a CN Tower facing room. Um, but nonetheless, that is definitely on my exploration. I think tomorrow's gonna be my exploration of Toronto. The next day is gonna be my exploration of Niagara. It's supposed to be beautiful on Saturday, actually. It might be a little cloudy tomorrow, but I think Saturday is like the sun that should be out and all of that, which I think is probably the better to see like the falls and all of that. But nonetheless, let's see what I can get into today. The city is my palace, palace. The city is my palace. The city is my palace. 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 The city is my 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 pal
Make you know say anything when you do, they must come and date. I can't come and see myself. So anything when they do, they try to get to a man. Plenty, 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 so far we do this. Just to make your money day. For my people, they don't say I don't want to buy. I don't want to die. I don't want to I want to enjoy. I want to jump life. I want to buy a motor. I want to build house. I still want to love. You know what I mean? What's it up? Can all your buds plug them in. Check it, check it, three thumbs up, big three. That's perfect. Schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Flowing in the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shout out to my brother, that's my bro, my family. Frozen trees. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. We can tell you straight, you are not my bitch. If you become a son, I'll be head of state. But my people then go say, I don't want buy, I know one die, I know one baby, I want enjoy, I want jump life, I want buy motor, I want build house, I still want to know. itself is made up of six boroughs mm. so whenever we refer to it as the six we are we are saying toronto is made up of six boroughs mm. now if you're an old drake fan you know that you, he comes from degrassi the yeah show. No. but even before then did you know he was in the theater no <laughs> and yes he studied right here this was the youth people's theater this is where drake got his start this is where he Baseball team uses this facility. Several cranes in front of us. Toronto is always growing, a booming place. We have four seasons here winter, 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 and yeah, construction. <laughs> Maple syrup. 
the first one, the lightest one, it's called the golden maple syrup. It's the lightest flavor of maple syrup. The second one is the amber flavor. Amber is the most popular flavor and this is like a better flavor than the golden one. The strong flavor. So the strongest flavor of the maple syrup is the dark maple syrup. Well, semi end of trip. I'm still in Toronto, but I wanted to give kind of my, you know, I always give you my thoughts on things because people are going to ask about things. So I like to give it right now before I catch the train. I'm taking the train to the airport this go around. I'm taking it not because of the interesting Uber ride. I only took one Uber ride this entire trip and that was coming here and we, we know how that went, but it's not because of that. It is because I'm right beside the up. If you can see the up, I don't know if the sign, you can see the sign from here. Um, but it says like stress free travel to Pearson Airport up and I just looked at it and that's like the express train to the airport it takes 25 minutes guaranteed time to the airport like no traffic or anything because it's going directly the train is I'll see if I can insert it's like right there it runs every what 7 or 11 minutes it runs pretty continuously more affordable than trying to get an Uber and it's like I'm right here 
I'm right here. My best friend, Jess, shout out to you, Jess, um, went to London this past week for her birthday and Beyonce. And she was like, you have to take the train to get to your hotel. Well, you don't have to. You can take an Uber, but it's going to take a long time. The train or the metro or the subway, whatever they call it over there. I'll see it when I get there. The underground, whatever it's called. Jolly old England. I'll see when I get there. But she's like, like take it because you'll save money and you'll save so much time to get there. And I was like, I've never taken public transportation solo, like public, like trains or subways. I've taken like subways in New York or like metros or trains in Washington, but that was like always with people. I've never done it by myself, but I felt like I'm right here. I'm literally on top of the express. It's like calling my name. It takes me one minute to walk to this thing that I've been looking at the whole time that says, it's like it's taunting me that says stress-free travel to the airport. So it's calling my name. And on top of that, I think this hotel itself is well located in terms of things near it. So you see the skyline and it's beautiful in terms of that. But then of course you have the train, but the Niagara Falls tour started right beside it. It started at Rickley's Ripley's Aquarium right here like literally right beside me like I'll see if I can pan I think I did a pan of how close the hotel was to where the Niagara Falls tour started so many people drove there they were like oh my god I'm panicking where do I park and the tour guide was like you have five minutes you better find a parking spot somewhere and I'm sitting here comfortably like I walked one minute from my hotel. I did not look into this hotel's like area. Like I looked into the hotel itself, but I didn't look at to how close it was to most things. You guys also know I'm right beside the CN Tower. It's facing the other way. So it's like on the other side. In terms of Niagara Falls, so let me let me give the overview of the things I did here. I liked it. I like that it started again right here, got to the falls and got to enjoy. I wish we spent a little bit more time there. It's technically three hours. That's what it said, but it felt more like the boat ride itself took like 30 minutes getting on moving around the falls and then that was 30 minutes in itself and then I don't even think it was like two more hours I think once I got off the boat ride I only had like an hour to eat that's why I ate that nasty food it wasn't great it wasn't bad but it was just like normal burger fries right beside Niagara because that was the first meal I ate all day I did not eat you guys watched me you guys saw I did not eat at all until like I got to Niagara so that was one two o'clock I was famished but the tour started at eight you had to get there at seven 45 7 50 ish so you could check in but the bus like left at eight it wasn't get there by eight so very early morning yesterday but great ride he talked the entire like way there I thought it was gonna be like a silent bus ride I didn't know the tour part was the whole ride I had my headphones and everything ready because I'm like I'm just gonna be listening to some tunes and then I was like oh he's talking the entire time but I learned so much good history about Toronto the city about the surrounding cities about the Queen Elizabeth belt, whatever the road we go on. You guys know Queen Elizabeth arrow that that road that road um that takes you from Toronto to Buffalo and to the falls and all of that. So many vineyards along the way too. I think that would be a great idea if you're actually going to like spend the day up in Niagara. I think the vineyards, one of my, the person I was sitting beside on the bus, she was trying to see if she could like abandon the bus. Cause he said, yeah, you can like not get back on. It's okay, but just let me know. Um, And she was going to abandon the bus and just do a day at the falls and find her own transportation back. So do a day at the vineyards, but she couldn't find like a vineyards tour at the falls. Most of the vineyards tour she said she found started in Toronto. So, and on top of that, there was so many solo travelers on this it had to be the bus was full the bus was full and it was so much so full that the day before like I couldn't even I, I wanted to do it Saturday I knew I wanted to do it Saturday but I was looking on Thursday Friday was already booked so they get booked pretty fast so I'd say if you decide to do this don't decide the night before maybe decide 48 hours before because there was no empty seat on the bus and about 10 or 12 people were solo travelers themselves so I sat beside a solo traveler like the other two on the side of me were solo travelers and there were like only four from the U.S. It was such a diverse bus. I mean, four people in total with 40 plus people on the bus, four were from the U.S. They were from Uruguay, Ukraine, Brazil, Mexico, um, Dubai, Spain, Portugal. Um, where were some people from? I mean, everybody. There were like three people who were from other parts of Canada too, but such a diverse 
city itself, like Toronto is so diverse, but then like culturally, in terms of outside of even the country itself, there were so many people diverse on this bus. That was so cool to see. But he started the bus with everybody announcing where they were from. So he went one by one. And I'm glad he did that because it was like, wow, so many people from so many different, like I'm assuming like, not assuming everybody came from the US, but I wasn't thinking that Toronto was gonna be on everybody's bucket list. Weather was nice yesterday. I know it looked like I had a sweater on. I did have a sweater on. I run cold. What I've noticed is the mornings start really cold here, maybe like 50s, 60s. And the high yesterday was 80 though. So by the time I would think like one, two-ish, it was like 80 degrees. So I was super warm, but then I got back on the bus. And so I was like, you know, I'll get back here and take that sweater off right away. The weather has been great each day, but each day has started that same way where it's like anywhere, anywhere, the high gets higher as you go through the day. So the highs were like 70, 70. I think it's like 70 something today as well. Food wise, I didn't have a very eventful food day yesterday. I had room service back to the room because I was just tired. Like left at eight, got back at what time did I get back at? Four thirty. The game was ending. The, the, the Toronto Blue Jays game was ending, and and everything is right there. The Blue Jays Stadium, the CN Tower, everything. So it was congested. So I walked back to the room, and I got back to the room. Maybe like I, I was gonna go to this place called um, Scatterbus. It's it's right there. Let's see if I can point to it. It's right there. You know, the camera wants to be focused. It's that restaurant right there. Um, my tour guide on the bus was like, I have to go there and get their mozzarella. And I was like, I am 100% going to do it. I said, I, not not this go around, but next go around, I'll get that mozzarella. I really was looking at the menu and like wanting some of that pasta, but I also wanted to sit in my room because eight to five is a whole work day. That's a whole day. That's a whole day. And then... The day before, I just explored Toronto. I did my normal city bus. You guys know I'm going to do a tour bus in any city I go to because I learn a lot. I'm a history person. I like history. You got to figure out what you're traveling for and what kind of travel you are before you really embark on this solo journey because solo travel isn't can be for everybody especially if you're a party person you like going out you like exploring nightlife you want to be out after like i'm indoors by like seven eight ish if you want to go out past seven eight ish you might not be a solo travel you might want to travel with people but i'm a history person learning about the city itself learning about the culture of the irish that brought the whiskey over here i was just like why is whiskey such a big deal let me learn about why they love whiskey up here and learning about the healthcare because we all know the healthcare is amazing here but learning kind of the area seeing the rich district seeing it all very much so loved that aspect of it but i've been rambling now for enough time i said i wanted to leave here and go to the little train which is right there it says it's a two minute walk and then you know the 25 minutes I'll be on it to get to the airport but we'll see I'm excited to take my first public transportation in a city that is not I mean it's not seen as thing of, of all the safest solo travel places this is definitely on the top of the list that I would say haven't felt any kind of way people have been super polite enough rambling oh, let's go I So I am back home. It is 4.06. I landed at 2.30 and it wasn't like a long process to get home. I don't live that far from the airport. I live maybe 15 minutes away. However, um, I went and got my after airport food, which is always Nana Morrison's. If you're in Charlotte, you're familiar with it. But I forgot it's Sunday and Sunday's afternoon, they be packed. So I'm going to talk really fast so I can decompress and also enjoy my fried chicken and my black eyed peas and my rice and gravy. But I kind of closed it when I was still up in Toronto. Amazing trip. I did not touch on the fact that you guys saw I had two Canadian things um tim hortons and poutine for the first time 
Tim Hortons loved it. If I had that here instead of Starbucks, I think I would be a regular there because I'm a coffee girl. I'm not like all the fruit and the refreshers. I don't need like an extensive menu. I do love my frappes, but if I'm talking straight coffee, I like the way the beans were in my latte more than I like a latte at Starbucks. So can, they can keep them donuts because they ain't hitting on no Krispy Kreme duck donuts type of fashion. But the coffee itself, I did enjoy that as well as poutine. I enjoyed it. It's just that I wish it was a little less gravy because having a starch and gravy is nothing uncommon here we have mashed potatoes and gravy and having fries and gravy isn't a weird concept it just felt like my fries were swimming in the gravy the, they were taking a bath they were taking a dip 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 in that gravy a little bit too much gravy for my liking um and then you know i had that combination together i had that poutine and then i went to tim hortons and had that coffee so that night um Let's just say I didn't eat much else um, because I made I made a, I made a mistake. But I did get to try two things that I were like, oh, let me have a Tim Horton since we don't have that here. And let me try, you know, poutine that I know I could get here for some places sell that. But, you know, I wanted up there near the source. But overall, that was the trip. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I took you guys on the jury as much as I could with some my battery died while I was doing the closing, but where I left off was that the fact that my food is going to get cold. I had to change my battery. I cannot let my chicken get cold. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I accurately took you through the process. If you think I did, give this video a big thumbs up, even if you think I didn't and there were some things I missed along the way, because there's always things I'm going to miss along the way when I take a short trip like that. But comment for the next time. I don't think that's my last time going up to Toronto in the falls. Let me know down below what more I could do the next time. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at leolavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. TikTok, again, a little bit more real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.